Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a lot of items, a lot of DIYs for this coming up holiday for Thanksgiving. And I hope you like them. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because in this channel, you are going to find DIYs, tutorials about recipes and also about craft and art, decor, and also testimonies, my experience, and much more. So I am ready. So if you're not ready, come with me for I can show you what you need in order to make your house beautiful for this holiday. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate this board with Dollar Tree paper. Guys, I am obsessed with this Dollar Tree paper from Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them into long pieces, really thin, for it could look like they are wood stacked up, right? So you're gonna see that this design, I'm just going to be cutting all this paper really thin, and I'm gonna be, um, the purpose of doing this is just to see a wood like it make like making it seem like there's wood stacked up right so <laughs> it's it's gonna be really nice this is something it's gonna be really nice i I was thinking about it and i'm like i want to do something different so with this paper and so i recommend you when you use this dollar tree paper to reinforce it with a lot of glue because this paper doesn't stick too much. I already have experience using this, as you've seen on my videos. I use it even for to decorate my office with this. And in the beginning, I was a little disappointed with this paper, but then I thought about, oh, why not just put in glue, you know, and reinforce it. So yes, reinforce it with glue for you could get better results for you don't get um disappointed with this paper okay guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm um, like you see in the picture or in your screen i am gonna be um i only have three so i'm just gonna be line lining them next to each other right for it could look like there's three woods next to each other and i'm gonna repeat this step onto the entire board, like you see in the picture. Then later, I reinforce it with tape for it doesn't get loose, right? Um, and the only thing that I think I'm missing is just to lose the bubbles out of this wood, out of this tape, out of this board. So now, you see that I'm almost done adding the last other side, and it looks like there's actually wood in top of the other woods <laughs> so now with this letters that says thankful i am gonna color it in gold because what i want to achieve is like a vintage rustic color right and i'm just gonna use i'm using a small brush which later on i'm gonna be using a sponge for I could get these vintage dirty gold yeah vintage dirty gold <laughs> okay so like you see right now I am getting that result and I love these letters I love it it all costs a dollar guys a dollar tree so if you had the uh, opportunity to buy these letters um go to dollartree.com um e even if you don't see it at the store so and this other more that says grateful and family now um later on and this design i'm gonna be adding some fall leaf with that double tape that i also bought at dollar tree this double tape is really good guys i love it i i use it for everything <laughs> i use it and it's really strong i love it because i use all my designs with that with this double tape so guys now i'm gonna reinforce the back for with the stapler for i could hang it in the wall you see <laughs> now i'm gonna be using a, a hula hoop for this second design and this um this natural yarn 
because I want to make a design kind of like a spider web, but not actually, right? It's just, it's kind of like that, but it's not actually because a spider web is like really, is really perfect. Um, maybe later on I will do one, <laughs> but not th the purpose of this is just to make something different, something creative, right? Um, and so I'm just gonna, like you see in the picture, I am just, um, making a loop and in another loop, in another loop until I achieve what I want to achieve. So it's going to be really nice. Like you see the finished touch. Then at the end, I did a knot on the same hula hoop and it looked really nice guys look at this i recommend you that when you do this design try to pull it a little bit for it could get stronger for it doesn't get loose right that just like you see there it's really strong and i could do whatever i want and and it doesn't fall so and i didn't even use tape or neither i use glue so I recommend you that. So now for this letters, I'm going to be painted in white. I love white. And so this letters, I'm just going to make it like vintage rustic as well. And so now I am going to add a little bit of brown because with that brown, I could get the vintage look like it looks like it's dirty. So now after that, I am going to add some leaves around it and I'm not going to do the whole hula hoop with leaves. No, it's just, I want to put it only on one side. If you want to add it the whole entire design, you could do that. Um, and please send me a picture to see how does it look? <laughs> but um, um, definitely I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to be using double tape as well to stick all these leaves. And you see, it's really nice. Now with these little four square frames that I bought also at Dollar Tree, I'm going to make a design and I am going to make a fall leaf, a fall leaf right and later on i am going to be cutting this fall leaf because i want to make a design with four paper four four construction paper i'm going to be using black orange white and yellow so those four colors right and what i'm going to do is i am going to cut all those I'm going to do the same thing that I'm doing here, but I'm going to do it with all those papers because inside of those frames, I'm going to use different patterns, right? And, and for it could look like different kind of leaves with different patterns. So that's what I'm going to try to achieve in this look. So right now with this cardboard that I found, right? I, it was just an envelope that I received and I like that pattern and I put it there. Now with this white paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, double tape as well around it for I could use yarn and you are going to see what I did with a yarn. So basically what I did was I stick, I stick all those yarn line by line lined up one by one next to each other um, i'm gonna put this paper in top of it for it could look like a different pattern now what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna paint with this five colors right to achieve a fall leaf with this different colors and with this one i'm gonna use gold like that with this brush not actually it's not a brush it's a sponge and i'm gonna use it like that right i'm gonna tab it for i could get also a different design and as you notice this is my four square frames now i'm gonna be using these little frames as well and i'm gonna take this little um beads um all everything i bought it at dollar street except the paper except the book 
So what I'm going to be, I'm going to get one of those sheets. I'm going to rip it off and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it inside that frame. And then I'm going to use this sticky um, sticker, the letters, and then I am going to add a fall leaf in, in like a design. And that's it. And this is how I created this, this small frames. Now with these little trays, what I did was I was like, oh, I don't want these trays like this. So I bought also these uh, glasses also at Dollar Tree and these trays are also from Dollar Tree. And what I did was I added these beads and these cubes and also I added these cereal inside the, the space of the wine glasses for it doesn't look empty. I recommend you also that if you want to like spray paint them both together, it will look really nice. But I wanted these colors to, to, um, to, I wanted these colors in, in my decoration. So I didn't do anything. I just leave it like that. Right. And so I recommend you that if you don't have any cereal, but you have a uh, dry corn or you have dry beans, uh, add it in there. It will look, and it will look really nice. Trust me. It will look really nice. So what I did was is I I I glue. I didn't use glue. I use um also double tape, guys. I use double tape for everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I use double tape to hold it in place like you see there and it's really nice and then I added these ribbons that I also bought at Dollar Tree. And you see it looks really nice. This looks great for decorating your table and you could put candy and even cupcakes guys guys you're gonna love them okay guys so these two designs that i bought also at dollar tree i'm gonna be adding these stickers also um for i could use um a really nice uh, sign so i am gonna be painting this correct this walnut i'm gonna be painted with orange with brown Correct for I could get this um, really nice, and I'm gonna glue these beads with actual glue, right? And uh, and later on I'm gonna be painting these um, little beads that I used from the from my previous design, uh, the little uh, the little square frames. I took them out and I'm gonna glue them in here. So <laughs> I really like it, right? And, and it looks like a real walnut. So, and then I'm gonna be adding these stickers and I'm gonna be actually uh, putting enjoy, right? Like enjoy, enjoy your meal. And I'm gonna put this in the middle of my table when we actually eat. Um, for people can definitely see, oh, look, you have to enjoy your food. You have to enjoy your meal. <laughs> but definitely you could put whatever you want in that sign it's really nice now with this turkey I'm just gonna use white and well not only white I'm gonna I'm gonna paint it first in white and I'm gonna do like lines I'm gonna do lines with the same brush for it could look like it's wood like wood stacked up right and then later on i'm gonna use a little brown just to give it like a little touch right at the end for it could look different and then i'm gonna be adding these letters i actually put on in spanish dar gracias in english it would be give thanks right because since my house is bilingual so i wanted to add some <laughs> spanish words as well some spanish phrases as well and I'm going to be adding this also in my table, right? Um, so, and then I wrote something with my handwriting, but it didn't come out really nice. But I'm going to leave it because nothing has to be so perfect. And then I add this ribbon in the turkey's neck. Um, now, so I am going to be using these three cans, right? And I'm going to decorate them with flowers. I didn't get to buy any sunflower because they all ran out. This is everything that you see here is just last minute 
decoration for <laughs> last minute because I didn't get to buy it on the beginning. But yeah, but it ran out, but it's okay. I, I was able to buy some flowers uh, with those colors, right, that I needed to buy. And now I'm going to be uh, decorating these cans. It's just bean can, cans of beans, right? And so um, I'm also going to be using double tape, double-sided tape, and I'm going to be sticking this uh, wood, this wood, this wood <laughs> right this flat wood and they usually are used for ice cream correct but um i'm gonna be using for this and then um to hold the flowers i'm gonna be using pool noodles right they're really great to um to decorate flowers and then um to hold the this uh, wood sticks, I'm going to be using ribbons that I actually bought on, on Dollar Tree as well. So yeah, guys, I really love it. Um, I really love these decorations. They're really last minute. If you don't know really how to do all these things, just watch my videos uh, little by little and you're going to learn. I hope you like them, guys. Hello guys, thank you for watching. Please don't leave and subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the box down below. You can also follow me on my social media. Bye for now.